Loud to Health Matters. Since the federal government about three weeks ago revealed its plan for first shipment of a COVID-19 vaccine in January 2021, there has been some opposition to this vaccine. The Health Minister, Sage Hanere, said in a statement that the committee was set up to select the vaccine most suitable for the country against the virus. He said that since different temperatures are required to protect vaccines, they must choose the most appropriate one from the existing vaccines. The minister had also earlier announced that the government would receive 20 million doses of the COVID-19 vaccine. A vast population of Nigerians already opposed to this vaccine. A public affairs analyst and the chairman committee of infectious diseases at the Nigerian Medical Association, Lagos Zone, gives reasons why they think that is the case. The, that may not be unconnected to the fact that uh, some of them don't trust the government enough uh, to do the right thing for them and by them. Uh, a lot of people also think that uh, the vaccine is a way to colonize or recolonize them. Uh, talk about the 5G network uh, issues and all that. Some people feel uh, it's a way to introduce a chip into their brain or to their body to monitor uh, whatever they do or say and all that. And then apart from that, uh, we also have the issues of the side effects that may arise from uh, the vaccine itself. Then uh, also, uh, some also question the potency of the vaccine, if it's actually uh, potent enough to prevent them uh, from getting the virus or uh, dying from the virus. So all these issues are some of the reasons why uh, some Nigerians, some people, not just Nigerians, may not want to uh, take the vaccine. You see, because of corruption, so many things eroded the confidence of the people in their government. Corruption is number one. And uh, I don't want government to look at it as if we are insulting them. But we must warn that if we want people to understand the need and the essence of vaccination, leaders who are managing COVID-19 should make sure that this issue of vaccine importation does not lead to, lead to feathering of nest. Corruption should not play any role in all of these. The people, once they have confidence that their government is speaking the truth, then education, public education has been achieved. But where the people have doubt about the sincerity of government, it will be because public education and lack of trust are both inhibiting. On the possible side effect of the vaccine, our medical expert tells us more. Talk about adverse effects, yes, uh, it may be true that one or two individuals may have adverse effects. It may range from diarrhea, it may range from rashes, it may also even range from a slight fever. Uh, let's not forget that individual uh, bodies react to drugs, substances individually, differently. So there are some individuals that will take the vaccine that may not react to it at all. And there are some that may take the vaccine and may develop one or two adverse effects to it. Uh, it does not mean that the vaccine does not work. It does not mean that the vaccine is bad. It's just because they have a foreign stuff inside their body and their body is trying to, you know, work against it, fight it. The vaccine stimulates your immunity against a subsequent uh, infection. Uh, by the uh, COVID-19 virus. So that's what the vaccine basically does. Now, when that happens, some individuals, their body may uh, go the extra mile to mount further immune response. Some people's body may not mount as much response, but those who their body uh, mount extra response may develop some rashes, they may develop fever, they may develop some other adverse effects. Now, these adverse effects will also range from one person to the other. So those are the things that happen. Not that uh, the vaccine is bad. Uh, it's not that uh, it, it's a killer vaccine or it's designed to kill or to maim and all that. So that's what it's all about. You see, public education matters a lot. The government should see the need to sensitize the people. 
give adequate public education to the general populace so that they will, you are trying to, if a government that is trying to protect the people must also be a government that can give public education and they have not done enough, they should do more. Once they are able to educate the general mass of our people on the need to accept vaccination to stop the movement of COVID-19, then the people are the winner. The government too becomes the winner.